All right, I got a word for you um, that I want to share with us today. Us, us. Let me say that. Let me say that. Us. Um, God is indeed alive and well, and he is speaking to us. Let me just quickly um, put the scripture reference up. So you see where we're coming from today with the God's word. Matthew 18 and verse 21. Matthew 18 and verse 21. And we, we are reading from the New King James Version today. All right. Um, then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times up to seven times let's see what the Lord is saying to us this morning I hope you're ready for the word hope you're ready for the word this morning let's see what God is saying to us this morning um, the Bible says that Peter that um, Peter came to him and said Lord how often should my brother sin against me that's what he said how often should my brother sin against me um, and I forgive him up to seven times Jesus said to him right away up to 70 times seven that's what Jesus said to it responds right away no hesitation at all up to 70 times seven not just seven times 70 times seven equals 490 490 times and it's your brother it's your brother, someone you have to live or work with, whom you're called to forgive. We're talking about forgiveness or bitterness. Amen? Forgiveness or bitterness. In essence, Jesus was saying to him, forgive and keep on forgiving if you want to have a relationship with this person. So... 70 times 7, sir. So, let's face it. We all make mistakes because we're flawed in different ways. All right? Flawed in different ways. Perfection only exists in God. Amen? Perfection only exists in God. Recall Jesus' words this morning. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. In Luke 23 and verse 34. Amen. Truer words have never been spoken. Truer words have never been spoken. And, and, and very few concepts are more significant to remember in a relationship. While it is perfectly normal to feel anger. And a natural human reaction to feel mistreated. There is a big difference between healthy anger and the corrosive emotion of bitterness. Are you with me this morning? Bitterness, my brothers and sisters, is relational cancer. Let me let that sink in for a moment. Bitterness is relational cancer cancer my angelo said bitterness is like cancer she said it eats up the host it's it, it eats you up it doesn't do anything to the object of its displeasure so you're, the person you're bitter against it doesn't do anything to them at all but it eats you up in this case my brothers and sisters the host is your relationship and forgiveness is the medication and the cure not just the medication now it is the cure it's the only cure jesus said and just as you want men to do to you you also do to them likewise that's what jesus said in luke offering the degree of forgiveness you wish to receive ensures that your relationship stays healthy 
your relationship stays free, free from the disease of bitterness. I don't have time to be bitter. No. No, 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 no. I don't have time to be bitter. I forgive you and I move it right along. Move it right along. We might not be bestie. We might not be, you know, all lovey-dovey. But I forgive you and I move right along. Is it sometimes hard to do? Yes, it is. Of course it is. It's, it's hard. Hard stuff. When people do things to you and you have to turn around and forgive them and you have to turn around and move on, it is hard. You have to turn around and love them anyways. It is hard. That's, that's hard stuff, man. Yes, it is hard. But if you pray, God will give you the grace to do it. A lot of us need that grace this morning because we need to pray. God will give you the grace to do it, to forgive your brothers and sisters, to forgive your ex-husband, to forgive your ex-wife, forgive your stepchild, your child. Some of us can't even forgive our children, our own children. Or our children can't forgive us. But if you're listening this morning, you just need to pray and ask God to give you the grace. Give you the grace to do it. And he will. So my brothers and sisters, there are two options on the table. Two options on the table. You can either live in forgiveness, a forgiving life, or in bitterness, a bitter life. Choose your pick this morning. Choose your pick this morning. Do you want to live free? Or you want to live in bondage? It's a simple. I want to live free. I want to live free. I don't want to live in bondage and chains and, and, and all those, those baggages that comes with bitterness. I want to be free. And so this morning, your two options is to forgive or to live bitterly to the end. Jesus said to Peter, 70 times 7, sir. 70 times 7. That means you should forgive them over and over and over again. You should forgive them more than you think you should. Always put that forgiveness in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgive you. You don't have to tell them all the time now. You don't have to tell them all the time. But you can tell yourself. Look in the mirror and say, listen, I forgive Jerry. I forgive Tom. I forgive him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And walk with your shoulder square, knowing that you have forgiven them. Then Peter came to Jesus. He asked the question, how many times shall I forgive my brother and sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? You know the answer this morning. You heard the answer this morning. Forgive them. 490 times. God bless you today. As we forgive. In Jesus' name. everyone for listening to GL365 Radio and Web TV. Please follow us on all social media platforms at MyGL365 Radio. Check out our content on our website and enjoy the blessings of the Lord.